call yourself an activist, a leader, a member of Mkonto Isizi. And when you are given a platform, you want to speak about the body parts of other people's leaders. And you want to speak about their intellectual capacity. What will Mkonto Isizi gain if we were to? Every time we speak, we say, no, this one are stupid. This one is a dumb cop. And then later on, we want to unify these people behind one agenda. And you're talking about adults with children. Characterizing them with all sorts of names. And later on, you say, no, as black progressive forces who must unite. And these are the people that you must talk to. So Mkondo Wesize is founded on the principle of respect and, 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 and what is good about this principle is that it also finds expression in the code of conduct as well that it will be a disciplinary issue to disrespect any person, even a general member of the public, you are not allowed. That is what defines the organization. The other principle is the organic form of representation that all activists, all leaders of Mkondo Wesize must be organic, must be guided by familiarity, must by knowledge of what is happening in their communities. So you can't be in the legislature or in the parliament and then you go to say in your speech that no, according to the Daily Sun or according to statistics South Africa, there is no water in Mshara Lingana and Josie and yeah, Mtubatu. When you speak, you must be making a proper relatable story that I was in Mtubatu yesterday, I was in Tabisa yesterday, I was in this area and I know the people do not have water. You should speak with authority on things that you know, not things that you have read in social media. That is the organic nature and character that we should build of Umukondo and season. The other principle and value is the principle of meritocracy and knowledgeability that as leaders we should be knowledgeable. We should understand what we stand for. We should know the areas where we come from yeah. so that we are able to provide proper solutions. Comrades, we are going to be doing a a lot of induction and constant discussions about the politics of Umkondo in season. So we had started the program in Limbombo and Pumalanga and then the president says, no, you can't continue with those programs because I want to be part of these provincial programs as well. Because some people might think that you are just speaking yourselves and representing yourselves. I want to be the one who comes to all the provinces to explain the constitution of Mkonto in season. Yeah. So that those who say, no, we only listen to Obama must listen from me and hear that this is what I'm saying. And there is, no, and there is none of the sections that are in mistake in this constitution. You know, when the first draft of the Constitution was drafted. Viva MK Youth League, Viva! <laughs> so, when the first section, when the first draft was... When the first draft was presented, the proposal on the MK Youth League was 14 to 35. Similar to Wagong. And the president says, Tell me what defines youth. Do you want a 14 year old and a 35 year old to belong in one organization, which is a preparatory school? How are they relatable? Because Majority of people above the age of 30, they are fully established adults. 
with children and many other obligations and responsibilities. And he says that we as Unkoto Wesizo, we are not getting what are the voices of the youth now. We are not getting clearly what is the political agenda of the generation we call Ma 2000. Because they don't have a political voice. And naturally, if you group them in one organization with people who are far much older, who are 20 years older than them, the ones who are older than them will be dominant because they've got experience. Yeah. Let's create a youth organization which will express the interests and aspirations of young people in a true form. That is the, the guidance that we got to receive. When President Zuma was 20 years old, he was a fully-fledged freedom fighter. He was sent to Ruben Island at the age of 20. Before he was 35, he was in the National Executive Committee of the ANC in exile. And then he says that perhaps we made a mistake as those of us who came from exile because when we came back, we said that youth is up, the, up, up until the age of 35, and then you have got adults who are above 30, towards 35, behaving like they are young people when they are not young people. <laughs> when they are supposed to take full responsibility of the struggles of our people. Go and check what was the age of Thomas Sankara when he led Burkina Faso. Go and check at what age did Steve Biko die. Go and check all the revolutionary activists. So there is absolutely, we had a different view because we believed that it is supposed to be in controversies like it is in other organizations. And through proper political ideological guidance, we all came to the conclusion that Umkonto is a youth league must be closed at the age of 30. And that was the guidance of the president. And there is no one who is going to create any other fictional explanation. Those who are in the National High Command will tell you. And those who came to say they are seeking explanation, he said, let come, let us meet outside. The, for, the former youth league convener from Lower South Coast from Oak was there. He explained the whole day to say, he even asked, how many of you have got children? And everyone else was raising their hand. <laughs> so let's stop any imagination that there was some conspiracy to exclude people. There's no conspiracy we need in Mkonto in season. 